Hello lords and ladies, welcome back to Cartoon Hangout, your place for all things cartoon. Night of the Living Dead Darkest Dawn is a 2015 CGI modern reimagining of the classic zombie movie, Night of the Living Dead. And it is... awful. Simply one of the worst movies I've ever seen. It came out two years ago, but looks like some PlayStation 1 video game cutscene from 20 years ago. Every single character in this dreadful excuse of a movie looks like they took a picture of some poor actor's face and stretched it over a 3D model. In the case of the main character, Ben, it looks even worse. They can't even get his freaking lips to move in a realistic way. Seriously, take a look. What the heck? They had a large enough crew working on this, but everything about it is amateurish, which is unforgivable by 2015 standards. You know what other movies came out in 2015? Inside Out, Hotel Transylvania 2, The Peanut Movie, and so on. The voice dubbing is atrocious, and you can barely hear some of the characters, and at other times the recording itself sounds like it was captured on some cheap-ass mic. It doesn't help the music in this movie and the garbage editing made me want to scratch my eyes out. Don't believe me? This is fairly early into the film. I had a headache just trying to follow that. Not to mention that little red effect pissed me off so bad. Can you say not subtle? Because it was horrible. Anytime something scary happened, or even dramatic, boom, red. I don't know if they were trying to pay homage to the original black and white, but randomly in the movie, it will also change to black and white. Only a few seconds at a time, and then back to color, making me puzzled at the reason for it. Other than the filmmakers maybe thinking it made the movie a little bit more artsy, which it does not. On top of those two things, there was this weird effect. I don't know what it's called, but it was annoying. Now the animation isn't any better. They use motion capture, but if so, the actors have no experience acting like real humans because it was stilted and odd, but that possibly has to do more with the CGI than anything. The zombies were okay looking, but obviously abandoned the more human appearance seen in the original, going for a more modern depiction, along with the zombies moving quicker. Unfortunately, they never sound scary, them ripping into humans is comically bad, and because of the low budget, there's never any actual tension involving them because the entire city looks abandoned despite the zombie apocalypse having just started. Now the story doesn't fare great either. It's essentially the original, but with some slight tweaks. I could go along with the more modern city setting, but other changes almost completely crap on the original. From turning the lead into a doofus who manages to get them all killed, to actually making the father in the movie even more unlikable than the original one. Even if any of you want to defend the story with, it's just doing something different. The movie never does anything remotely on par or better than what you'll find in the original, which makes this a completely pointless movie that no one was looking for. There are plenty of other better reimaginings and adaptations of Night of the Living Dead out there. You're better off watching the classic rather than this brand dead corpse of a movie. That'll be it for this review. If you were unlucky enough to have seen this movie like I was, and have some opinions of your own, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, consider this review a warning, and avoid this movie at all costs. Thanks for watching, and take care.